When you start MATLAB for the first time, you should see something that looks very much like this window. If it's not exactly like this though, don't worry about it. If you want to, you can just go here to where it says Layout and choose the default if you wanted to see it configured the way that I have it here. MATLAB calls this window the Desktop. It can contain views into all the different moving parts of MATLAB. The appearance of the desktop is meant to be very similar on all operating systems. So, for instance, I'm running this on a MacBook, but you'll notice that the interface is much more Windows Office style, with tabs and a ribbon on this top part here, rather than with the usual Mac menus. For the most part in these videos, I'll be showing you how to do things by typing in commands, but most commands do have point-and-click counterparts somewhere on this ribbon. Underneath the main ribbon, you see this line for the folder. This is a location on your file system that you would see if you opened up Finder on the Mac or Explorer on Windows. At every given moment, MATLAB has a certain current folder designated, where it will look first for programs and data. That's what's selected in this line here. You can change the current folder by typing a command or by clicking on one of these buttons here in the bar. Note that the contents of the current folder are shown in this left panel. There are two other panels or windows visible right now. The one on the right called the workspace we'll look at in a later video. The one in the middle called the command window is where you get kind of a direct link into MATLAB's brain. This symbol is called the command prompt and it means that MATLAB is ready for you to type in a command that will execute and print out results right away. These windows can all be moved around or even popped out of the desktop if you want to work that way. Sometimes it's a little frustrating to get things to look exactly the way you want. You can always go back to the layout button and reset to one of the built-in configurations if you get desperate. There's one last thing that I want to point out in this first look, the help button. As you can see, I've got it set up to pop up inside the desktop, but for you it might open up in a separate window. In any case, this is where you can go to get documentation on MATLAB. All this documentation is on the web too, by the way. Now thorough documentation is one of MATLAB's strengths. You can use the search here to go straight to the help for a function whose name you already know, or you can do a more general search for a topic and look for a conversational discussion. You're probably going to spend a lot of time in the documentation as you get familiar with MATLAB. That's it for the first look. In the next video, I'll be showing how to do some very basic calculations with numbers.